The economic cost of the coronavirus and of the steps Mainers have taken to prevent the spread of COVID-19 have been massive and unprecedented. In the matter of a little over a month, nearly one in 10 Mainers found themselves filing for unemployment. Today, the state's labor commissioner talked with lawmakers about the massive system shock her department has been through. Don Kerrigan joins us now with more on that. Hi, Don. Hi, Lindsay and Pat. Yes, this was a public hearing by the Labor Committee and which uh, after legislative leaders had told the governor they wanted to ask the Labor Commissioner some questions, the many problems with the state's unemployment system have become a prime target for critics of the Mills administration and the pandemic response. Labor Commissioner Fortman uh, defended the work of her department, saying it was understaffed to begin with and has struggled to deal with the huge number of uh, people seeking benefits. But she did announce that they will be getting some assistance getting more people. We created 138 new positions by financial order, and we'll be posting those um, within the next few days and have been working with L.L. Bean to help us um, hire and train those staff. But one senator sharply criticized the commissioner for not getting outside help to upgrade the state's computer system and potentially phone system as well. Senator Stacy Guerin said that Rhode Island went to Amazon to help build a new system for, that it could use and that New York went to Google to get assistance with its system. So she wanted to know why Maine didn't go to get that same kind of help, even though Google invited them to. When, when New York State's unemployment claim systems crashed, they reached out to Google, who created an entirely new system in a little more than a week. This included the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. That was back in early April, a month before Maine started accepting the PUA claims. Did you ever reach out to Google for help with claim systems? Our system has never crashed. The phones have crashed. But the online processing system has not crashed. It is processing claims. Um, and no, I did not reach out to Google either. Well, from what I, the reports I am hearing from Mainers is that the glitches in the system are causing them to have to call to get their accounts straightened out so that the failures in the computer system are causing the phones to be overwhelmed because the filings are incorrect. Just yesterday, I spent some time on the phone with executives from Google. It only took a few hours to find the right people there and to set up a conference call. They told me that beginning a month ago and continuing today to engage in um, new uh, technology that was not necessary at, or at least in my opinion, um, it was not new technology that we needed. It was additional staffing. Um, and I also would say that the numbers of claims that we have processed, I'm not familiar with Rhode Island's numbers, um, but uh, it 70, roughly 80% of the people who have filed claims here in Maine um, have had their eligibility determined. Commissioner Fortman uh, said that uh, that they would uh, consider uh, contacting Google at another uh, lawmaker's suggestion for potentially help with the phone system. Now, uh, another senator cited a history of problems with the computer system at the Labor Department, but a representative said the state's uh, OPEGA agency had done an investigation of that and found that the system was working okay. Uh, they, uh, there was general agreement that the department needs to upgrade uh, some of the programming on its, on its computer system to make it more easily usable by people. None of, there were no decisions to be made today. Lawmakers will decide whether to recommend anything as time goes by, and we will see what happens with all this. Pat and Lindsay, back to you.